morning there folks welcome back right we're in Vienna again and uh, yeah I've got a bit of a cool day lined up basically as you guys know I have a fascination with the macabre and uh, you know death in general and especially you know practices you know holy practices of preserving the dead so there's a there's a lot of that in Vienna so Starting off, it's now it's still quite early in the morning, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. But yeah, it's a church up ahead here, which I've been told bears such a thing. So yeah, I've got quite a list of things to go through today, so quite looking forward to it. So yeah, with uh, this uh, video, I said to myself, I need to get over my fear of vlogging in busy areas because I really hate doing that. There's people around <laughs> looking at you thinking, what the hell's he doing? Idiot talking to, into a camera. But no, I said to myself, today is a day where I get over that fear. So, yeah, the church is just here ahead of me now. So yeah, let's wander on and uh, let's have a look. Right, yeah, this has to be it. Uh, I've read online it's open at seven. <laughs> so it should be open. Uh, can't see where the entrance is yet. Let's keep going. It is. Okay. Better be quiet because there's. Oh, there's a church. <laughs> right, let's go have a look. Especially, it's quite a common sight. I don't know if they're praying or if they're asleep. Anyways, so yeah, that's two skeletons of the day so far. today guys so uh, let's keep going that was called Franzikana Church by the way I should have said that <laughs> so uh, yeah not a bad start to the day right so there's another Catholic Church about a 10 minute walk from here which I believe bears the same kind of thing. So yeah, let's, let's go guys, let's go. All right, next one. So this is St. Peter's Catholic Church. And uh, again, I've been told it bears some tombs like the one we had just now. So let's take a look. Is 
pretty impressive church to say the very least but I keep seeing these are all covered with this purple cloth and I'm wondering if they're covering what it is I want to see let me uh, keep looking okay it probably me then when I found it but there it is guys See where they all are now. There's another one here. Right, so these are the remains of Saint Benedict and Saint Donifus. I'll uh, put the names of them below. But yeah, these are from Rome. So, sort of, so sort I've of read. Very respectfully. Based in these tombs, as you can see, here he is again. Wow. Beautiful. It's like the perfect combination of the macabre and beauty, you know. Very striking. And when I finally, because I was wa walking around here, like, where are they? And when I saw it tucked away there, I will admit it to be quite surprised, but I thought, oh god, there it is. Yeah, because it feels like you're you know, bumping into a real person. But yeah, I am essentially bumping into a spirit yeah so yeah you can s it's the rib cage that really sticks out very cool wow obviously the, the bones are more you can see them a bit a lot, a lot better than the uh, the two previous skeletons we saw in the previous church this these are far more striking what an incredible church wow can't get over that and obviously the skeletons as well. Alright, so, so far today, two churches, four skeletons. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Right, oh, I can speak properly now. Right, saw something around the corner from here on the way, which I want to show you guys. Let's go. play column of Vienna. You can remember I saw one in uh, Eckenberg yesterday and yeah that's basically it was erected in 1679 to mark the end of the Black Death in Vienna because Vienna had one of the last big outbreaks of the Black Death in the city like a lot of Europe suffered vastly Pretty cool, we're, we're doing all right. I mean, I think I've been in the seat setting now for what? Just over an hour. <laughs> Four skeletons and a Black Death memorial thing. <laughs> we're doing all right. Let's keep going, guys. Okay, so now I'm off to a church that does actually have an ossuary in the crypt. However, the tours because any they do tours of that part of the church are only on Fridays. So I've so I've read and I'm not gonna be here on Friday. So I'm just gonna go to the church, have a look around, see if I can try my luck about having a tour. 
so yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. But, wow, this is what I love up here. Like, you just get architecture like this, you get statues like that everywhere. It's a cool city, this place. Very cool. And yeah, I'm in good spirits actually, considering I barely had any sleep last night because I got a rude awakening from a mouse in my hotel room. Yeah, my hotel is not the best, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's go find that church. Okay, yeah, find a church. And you can see it here, crypt, I believe, yeah, Friday, Saturday. Oh well, let's go inside anyways, see what we can see. Hey, I'm looking what I'm seeing so far. What's all this? Please do not enter. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Look cool. I've seen one momentum more rise since I've been in here. But yeah, beneath my feet right now, as I'm talking, are thousands of skeletal remains. So yeah, I know that I know that they're there. What was this? So yeah. I am now currently walking above the dead. So, yeah, it's a shame I won't be seeing any of the bones today in this crypt. But, uh, tell you what, hopefully, if I find any pictures online, I'll put them here right now. So, yeah, it's very difficult to make out. The, the glass is very dark, but there's definitely something in there that looks very much like um, the skeletons that we've seen today in the churches. Camera's not going to do any justice, but yeah, I believe we have found another skeleton too. There we go. I know I've got, got to see the, see the crypt, but uh, I have got to see some human remains. Amazing. Right, so I believe this is the entr entrance to the, the crypt. Oh well. Can't have them all. So not today, but when I'm back in Vienna, I'll make sure I'm around for when the crypt is open. Anyway, let's keep going. Right then, I've got some time to kill now until uh, the next place I want to go to is open. So I tell you what, let me uh, show you where I'm staying in Vienna, where mice like to lurk. Yeah, okay, so I mean, this is it. I mean, yeah, it looks a bit dated. Um, but you know, I first of all it was cozy enough. I mean, the bed's not as bad as it looks. I've got plenty of plug sockets around here. You know, I've got wardrobe with a safe in it. I don't know why it's there. It doesn't even open. So I wonder what's inside. Uh, TV. Not that I watched it. I didn't watch TV anyway. Got a nice little fridge in here. Yeah. And then you've got the bathroom, which to be fair, it's quite clean. I didn't see mould or anything like that. But I mean, last night I had a rude awakening from a mouse. Wake up around three in the morning to a noise under my bed. I thought, what on earth is that? At first I thought it was just probably someone from the other room. But no, 
Turn my light on. L little, uh, the little f came running out of there into that cr cr crack in here. Nestled away. Went downstairs to reception to see if anyone was there to give me a hand, but nope. And when I came back up, he was gone. I checked all around, I took the bed out, checked all of them under the furniture, couldn't find him. So he's made his way to annoy someone else. Ah, see, got another two nights here. So uh, let's see if I meet him again. I should also mention that I paid 173 euros for this room for four nights. And I thought, that's not bad. But yeah, uh, I really should have read the reviews first. Never mind, I'm sure I'll live. Right, next stop of today. Check out this absolute monolith. Insane, that's St. Stephen's C Cathedral. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is just peak European architecture, that is. So, yeah, in here, there is a crypt with human remains, which I'm going to check out, which I already know it's not going to allow photography. But I mean, I'll go in anyways and uh, check, with it, check with them. And if not, I just have to go on their official website and uh, grab some for you guys. But check this out. Right, I mean, the tour start at 10 for the crypt. So, while I'm waiting, <coughs> I'm going to go inside the church, have a little wonder. Because uh, something tells me there's going to be some gems inside. Here we go. <laughs> this is a bit different from my usual videos, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Used to being out in the wilderness. Here I am now in a capital city. Right, here we go. Right, yeah, this cathedral is nuts, albeit very busy. Yeah, you know, packed with the people. But it's okay, I am in the capital city after all. Check that out. Um, so yeah, this is the meeting point for the, the catacombs. It is down there. So I've got to wait for a bit. Oh, here we go, something's dying. What time is it now? It's quarter to ten. The, t the tour starts at ten. So until then, I'm just gonna, yeah, have a wonder around this cathedral. It's a stunning place, it really is. Yeah, the guy letting us in should be here in about five minutes. Uh, I already know I'm not going to be allowed to take any footage down there. So, yeah, when I come out, I'll tell you all about then. So, see you out there in three, two, one. Whoa. Yeah, I'm now out of there now, guys. You, you actually end up coming outside the church. You actually get into the crypt and out. See where all those people are there? That's what we just came out of. And that was amazing. So you go in, it's based like a sort of underground cemetery. You know, there's a, uh, coffins of like emperors and bishops of uh, Austria. And as you go deeper in and deeper in, that's when you see the bones. God knows how many tens of thousands of bones are un un uh, un underneath that church. Absolutely mind blowing. That was absolutely spectacular. So, I'm sure you want to know what it looks like. So, uh, here's a few images I found online. So, yeah, what a place, St. Stephen's Cathedral. Definitely check it out, guys, if you're in Vienna. 
do that crypt tour. Totally worth it. Okay, right. Anyway, it's been a busy day so far. Um, but yeah, not over yet. Got a few more things to do now, so uh, yeah, let's keep plowing on. Okay, we're looking forward to this. This is the Imperial Crypt here in Vienna. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go on in. Right, I'm in, but I'm not allowed to take videos in here, so I'm just gonna get pictures. So uh, here's some pictures. The Imperial Crypt beneath the Capuchin Church in Vienna serves as a place of entombment for near 150 members of the House of Habsburg. I have never in my life seen so many beautiful coffins in one place. I was particularly very impressed by this sarcophagi. This was somewhere I really did not want to leave. I could have been here all day. Okay, that was phenomenal. Didn't even want to leave. Right. So this is the church above the crypt. So yeah, we might as well have a look. What an amazing day it's been so far. Right, so the next place I want to go to isn't open for another hour, so I'm going to find some lunch somewhere. And then, yeah, we'll get back to it. See you shortly. Hello again. Okay. So this is the oldest church in Vienna. Apparently it's way over a thousand years old. St. Rupert's. Yeah, from the outside, it looks really cool. Check out the tower. So the church is not open yet. Got another like quarter of an hour until it is. But yeah, looking, looking what it looks like on the outside. So I, I guess this must be St. Rupert. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside. But yeah, it's been a very good day. It's now only like one o'clock and they might have done that short space of time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well that's St. Rupert in German. Okay. Oh, we're up now. Let's go in. Right, we're in. Yeah, these stained glass windows didn't look a thousand years old. Church. But yeah, let's uh, have a quick look around. Yeah, nice little font there. Okay, so this is the for water. The main thing I came here for. Okay, guys, this is it. So this lovely gentleman here has uh, offered to tell me all about this uh, skeleton. So, what can you tell me about the skeleton? Okay, this is the name of the of this man is Vitalis. He was a, soldier, a Roman soldier by Kaiser Nero, and he wanted to help Christian people. He go to Christian, and he must die with his wife. And this is about one thousand five hundred years old. Wow. Very strong man. So basically, this is a martyr from 1500 yes, years ago. Yes. That's crazy. And it's... Maria Theresia was in Vienna, in Rome. Yeah. And the Pope Clement the Twelfth said, "I won't give you something, but only bones, not clothes, only bones." Right. He said, "I must give something more for the church, not only bones." And she spent us this 
Baroque, Baroque uh, uh, clothing. This is original Baroque. Wow. Yeah. That is spectacular. I mean, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the torch in it again so you can have a... That's it, that, there it is. Look at that. Yes, uh, this is original. And this is symbolic for the murder. It's a green, a, a, a green rank. Yeah. And, and blood, blood. Oh, Sangris, yeah. That's what I. It is. was symbolic for the on on this uh, uh, this piece is a uh, all symbolic for the martyr also. Wow. But this clothes is from Maria Theresia, uh, and that's his origin. Ah. And he, he, this man was very strong, but the heroic soldier were not so strong. Right. But we suppose it was maybe a, a Germanian. Uh, something not typical Ronix soldier, but like uh, soldier from Germania. Wow. The Germanian what he was a uh, uh, people to uh, to live together to uh, together with uh, with Ronix. But what is what is soldier? He 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 t take money for his <laughs> job of work. Okay. But he, he Romic, the Romic people is not not strong by. Uh, 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 early small, yeah? yeah, but it's about two two meter. Yeah, this is a very strong man. Very strong man. <laughs> this guy knows his stuff. What a gentleman. What's your name? My name is Bogdan and I come from Poland. Poland. Yes. Polish. I love the Poles. Yeah. Right. So there you go. I mean, this is the oldest church in Vienna, isn't it? Yeah, that's the oldest church in Vienna. Yeah, so this is what I mean, the oldest church in Vienna. This is Read it like this, century, yeah? an actual gentleman like this. <laughs> right. What a place. Right, so he just, 11, 12 century, yeah. he's just been telling me some very fascinating information about this church. And it turns out, this here, you see it's the oldest in Austria, or Vienna? Yes. Okay, this is the oldest window in Austria. It's mad. Got a combination of Romantic and Gothic architecture in here. We have got something like a legend. In the year 1740, he was two mission people from Irish and German from Salzburg. And the Bishop group from Salzburg say to the people, go to go to Vienna and bring here the people of Vienna for Vienna Christian religion. Yes, but this is legend. Okay, 1740, yeah? yeah. 740. By uh, also the first first place in this, this history is about 12, 11, 12th century. You can you can find the the place. She said, okay, it was the oldest church, but it was the Vienna Vindobona. It was Remic Lager. Uh, the Remic soldier was here. Okay. After the soldier go back, go, go home. We have the place. In this place, it was. Uh, it was uh, uh, underground was from from the uh, Remic soldier uh, uh, lager camp, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Vienna Vienna was Vindobana. It was the Remic Remic soldier camp, yeah. About one thousand. And later we have uh, something. The people from Rome go home. Yeah. And the people he stay. It was. A part of the forum soldier said, I have a wife, I make a family and he stay here. <laughs> wow, this guy knows his stuff. The river, river, uh, uh, Vindobona is the names yeah. of the old names of, uh, for, from, from, from Vienna, uh, Vindobona. And the Danubia, it was Danube, is uh, Dun, Dun, Donau. Yeah. Goes all the way into Hungary yes, 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 for the yes, best. Yes. Wow. <laughs> the church was uh, especially for the people to uh, to take salt from Salzburg and give it uh, by, by by river yeah. to Vienna. Oh, right. That makes sense. And this piece of <clears throat> is just like the special person. He protect the the uh, people. He goes from Vienna, from Salzburg to Vienna. The Bishop of Salzburg. Right. This is very old sculpture. This is about 12th 12, 12 12 century. Really? Yes, yes, yes. 12th century. Wow. The end of, of the, the 
middle, middle out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was it's a Fourier tessellator, but this is special, it's a face. When you're looking, it's a face. You can, you oh, can, you can find the face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, this face is just symbolic from, from the moon. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Or from first man in the world, Adam. <laughs> oh, right. But we, we, we don't know. Uh, which which one interpreted this really is is, is true. <laughs> I'll give the moon. Yeah. I think the moon is cool. By the children, uh, by painting with Maria, Maria stay on the on the moon, yes, mm -hmm. and this, this can be a face of the moon, right. symbolic. Yeah, we don't know which interpreted this better. What an awesome little church. That guy, what a legend. Such a friendly bloke and he, his knowledge was endless. I mean, even off camera, he still had so much to say. So now, well, let's just have got one last look around this church. Yeah, now I've got one more place to check out. Um, I think it's about 20 minutes. 30 minute walk from here. Yeah, something else you said about this church is that it's got the oldest bell in Vienna. So that makes sense. This is, so, what a tree. This, this has been the highlight of the, of the day by far. So, I mean, you know, this is why I love these smaller places. I mean, I bet out of all the people that come in to, to see this church, not many actually, you know, have the time to sort of chat with that guy. You know, he's just coming in, having a quick, having a quick look and going out. I could, I could tell he was very humble. I can tell you he was really enjoying, enjoying to give me all that information. <laughs> and he, he seems a bit excited about being on this video. So if you're watching this, mate, thank you again. That's really near my day. Um, so yeah, there it is, guys. St. Rupert's. Right, let's head on, let's head on to the last destination. Right, this is the Narentern Anthropology Exhibition Museum here in Vienna. So that's the next stop for today and probably the last stop. I hope it's open and I don't know about photography or filming so let's find out. Yeah, of course you're not allowed photography in there. <laughs> but then again, I am really not surprised. I mean, these are very, very rare specimens they've got on display. So yeah, I mean, places like that, you, you've got the um, the Frolic Museum in Amsterdam, uh, the Hunterian Museum in London as well. That's another one. Really phenomenal places. They really blow my mind every time I visit something like that. That's actually a former lunatic asylum as well, by the way. So yeah, really cool place. That's been a very, very good day. Right, nothing much left to do now. So, I'm just gonna slowly wind this day down. I'm now gonna head back to this host to my hotel, sorry. And uh, yeah, see you there. Okay then guys, that is the end of that video. <laughs> what a day it's been lots crammed in and um yeah i want to send a special thank you to my lovely internet friend Roxandra for all her help in uh pointing things out to me recommending places to go yeah today is thanks to you so thank you um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this i really hope this has inspired you and uh you know if you have the similar sort of interests and things like i have no doubt this uh, video will help you. Right then guys, I'll see you soon in a different country. Take it easy.